Hailing from the stars as the water carrier that she represents, it is AQR0 Aquarius with a kit of Charge Plant, Double Count Attack, Float Legs, and the Leg Ability of Whaley. Now, similar to Taurus, who is debuting the same time as she is as an officially pullable gacha model, this is actually not the first time that we have seen Aquarius, given that she is in previous in Enemy NPC and Story Mode Arc 3, which was geared largely toward Metarot Navi and showcasing and bringing back a lot of bots from the Zodiac series thereof. Charge Plant is a setup-based skill which basically will put a passive plant on the field. While this plant is active, anytime the user decides to charge Metaforce on their turn, they will get just a little bit extra of a bonus back as long as the plant stays active, which makes it very good for passive Metaforce sustain if you're not able to somehow fit it into your build one way or another. Count Attack is a shooting-based skill with a, so with a rather uh, interesting form of damage bonus on top of that. Basically, the way Count Attack works is at start, you will see the base damage pretty much as you see here, but every time you use the attack in consecutive, it gets progressively stronger, which means, uh, which means Aquarius is someone that requires to be on the field for long amounts of time and basically benefits from spamming, which normally is something you don't generally like to do or don't generally uh, have a very positive outlook on in other games going forward. But Aquarius is someone who takes, who takes that in stride as pretty much what makes her so dangerous. In addition to this, Count Attack is actually quite nasty once it does start clocking up that extra damage over time, even though it does prevent the user from dodging or defending while in cooldown as a way to essentially kind of counteract that. With Float Legs, naturally that does mean that she has pretty solid all-around coverage on pretty much any terrain um, at A rank, S rank of course on Cyber, on cyber which everybody gets, but her, skill, but her stats are honestly at a pretty nice sweet spot of where you'd want to be for Float Legs as well. A mobility of 735, uh, 736 actually is pretty nice, I'd say upper tier of where you'd expect most float legs to be, um, and with rather nominal stats across the board everywhere else. So she's not necessarily one that's going to be dodging a lot, she will be struggling quite a bit from incoming melee attacks, but and her shoot resist is nice, but could be just a little bit higher of course. Of course, however, I do also have to mention that this is also her base stats and not her final stats because the, because she will be getting an additional 10% on the once she does hit the field, given her legs terrain compatibility. As a pure set score, I do have to rate her pretty solid 6.5 out of 10. Not to say that she's particularly bad or she has or she has bad stats or bad parts. It's mostly given the fact that even though she has count attack on the same arm, which honestly will not tie into the into the redundancy argument in this case, and her skills actually do cover for herself pretty well. Charge Plant does actually tie into the Whaley leg ability pretty well, which means she will get an additional damage bonus pretty quickly and very easily. It's the fact the fa it's, it's the fact rather that in order to actually deal anything lasting, Aquarius requires to actually spam the attack more than once which ultimately ties into dragging the battle out longer than it has to be. Which means, by the time Aquarius's damage actually becomes something dangerous and something to be, and a force to be reckoned with, she's already pretty much already ne uh, nearly dead, or the fight is at that point nearly over. Which kind of cuts her overall viability short, unless you can find a way to forcibly drag that out and force the battle to keep going, which is honestly not what you really want to do. As mixed parts, on the other hand, I do have to rate her a pretty solid 7 out of 10 for what she does have. Charge Plant you can generally never go wrong with, of course. Count Attack is pretty dangerous if you are able to make use of it and utilize its rather uh, unique, uh, its rather unique requirement to make it to make its damage lasting. And Whaley, of course, as it be, with it being on a float leg, means you can fit it just about anywhere, especially on on a team that needs passive aggression. Um, such as traps or plants, or even using Aquarius' head and leg at the same time with a different build, uh, say with different arms like power rifle or laser, to really capitalize on getting that damage bonus that you'll get uh, for the extra plants that are active on the field.